Domo Amejin des. Today,、um, I'm going to show you guys an interview that I did with one of my very good friends that I, made, that I met and made in Japan. It's kind of a long interview, so it's going to be all in English and no Japanese captions. Sorry. Kyo no doga desu ne. Ano, totemo nagai no de, eh, nihongo no jimaku wa arimasen. Moshiwake gozaimasen. Hai, start! I think it's going.、Um, so let's start. Okay.、Uh, yay! For those of you watching on YouTube, this is my good friend, Eva.、Um, is it okay if I call you by your name, your real name? Eva? Yeah. Okay, cool. Of course. <laughs> awesome. Some people don't like that, that's why. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah. can hi. you. Hi. Can, where are you from? I'm from France. And you can speak French. Yeah. You can speak French? Yeah.、Mm-hmm. Cool. Tell me about your Japanese journey. Why do you like Japan and what got you into Japanese? Okay.、Uh, I, I don't really know. Like, I love Japan since like, a really long time because my big brother loves Japan and animation and all of this stuff. So, I. I was always me, with my big brother, so I got into it too. And at first, it was like I really love manga and anime and stuff like that. But then I started to like also music and like、uh, traditional mus-、uh, culture and stuff like that. So I decided to、uh, learn Japanese. And, yeah, so I went to. Japan, like one year ago, something like that, with you、mm. at Shimane. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> where we met. <laughs> yeah. And that was a really, really good experience.、Mm-hmm. Uh, one of the best of my life, probably. How long ago did you start learning the language, really?、Mm, like four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah, something like that. Was it by self study or at college or what? No, like I tried when I was at the high school to learn by myself, but it was so hard and I need a real like, professor. So、mm. I, I really started to learn it at the university.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do they have、um, many Japanese classes in France in high school? No, not at high school. not... At all. Like some high school, maybe in Paris or Lyon, have it, but like you know, your third language, so it's really difficult to find. I had to, when I tried to learn it at, at high school, I, it was, you know, internet、uh, mm-hmm. classes, stuff like that. So,、mm-hmm. But not that much. Even at the university, we don't have、um, a lot of universities that. Like teach Japanese,、mm. only one in Lyon and like maybe a few in Paris, but not that much. I see.、Yeah. Um, you, so you studied for four years. How、yeah. good would you say your Japanese is? Did you pass like an exam or a JLPT kind of thing? So I have like the N3 in Japan. I try the The end too in France, but I failed. <laughs> because, no, that's okay because I, I didn't have enough time to prepare. I just came back from Japan and started、um, new classes, gra- graduated classes, and、mm. we, ha- we didn't have that much time. I had like maybe three months to prepare, and I have a lot of classes and homework. Oh, baby cat!、Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> I, I wasn't prepared, but I was like, okay, let's try it. But I failed. And I, I knew that I, w- I would fail, but that's okay, we'll try next year. It was a good experience, <laughs> though, to see how it was. Yeah, yeah, but it was kind of the same as the N3, but like high, 
higher level. Okay. But yeah. Um, do you like any other culture besides Japan? Yeah. Uh, what well, I'm kind of in. I'm a travel lover, and I I'm interested in the, a lot of different culture. But it's true that I'm more interesting in Asian culture. So I love Korean culture. Mm. My boyfriend is Vietnamese, so I also knew a little about Vietnamese culture mm. and stuff like that. But I'm really open-minded. So cool. Yeah. When you <laughs> first went to Japan, did you experience culture shock? Uh, yeah, but I was prepared, so maybe it wasn't like a really big shock. But when I I just um, arrived at uh, Izumo Airport, so it's the airport next to Shimane. Oh, baby, <laughs> next to Matsu, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a really small airport, so no one speak English, and my Japanese was really bad, so I just came, and I was like, where can I change money, mm -hmm. and they just look at me like, oh my god, and they said, like that, I was like, what? Really? Just, oh. Yeah, and I was like, and... Like the guy, I was like, can I change money? And he was, no, 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 speak, something like that. And he showed me like his co-worker. And I went and I was like, can I change money? And she was like, what? Oh, no here, no here. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> but it was like, because it was a really small airport, so, but, they, they just were afraid to speak, mm. so that really like surprising because even in France, when some people don't really speak English, at least they try. They're not like afraid, but yeah. that was funny. Yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that happened to you, actually. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Um. Did you ever have like a freak out moment in Japan, like, oh my gosh, why am I here, like, what am I doing, something like that? Uh, did I? Mm, well, maybe at the Izumo airport, because I was like, I was alone and no, no one mm. speak English, and yeah, I didn't know how to take my bus ticket, and I didn't have money, and I, I didn't have anything, but after that, I think we were always together mm. or with Japanese friends, so not really, but yeah, maybe just the first day. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. did, did you change your money before or after getting to Japan? No, after, but I, I thought that like, I could change it in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. But at least I was afraid like to miss my plane for Izumo, so I I just said, oh, okay, let's change it in Izumo. But they didn't have a change like stuff, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I couldn't. And I was like, oh my god, what can I do? So I just like you know uh, take some money at the cash machine, and but I was, it was kind of a mess. Yeah, and I was so <laughs> stressed, but. Wow, okay. Cool. Oh, I want to ask you about your boyfriend being in France when you were in Japan. Was that hard? Was it kitsu? Like... Yeah, uh, the first week it was really hard uh, because, you know, I didn't know you, I didn't know, I didn't have friends and... Uh, mm. It was Matsue, so it don't have a lot of things to do. I, I, I was kind of, oh, what, what am I what I'm doing here? And yeah, I was always calling my boyfriend and my parents, and I was so like, oh my god. Then, yeah, we missed each other, but you know, a few months passed, and like we. Like, it was normal after. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but it was hard because you know sometimes you text and what you said you don't want us to be mean but maybe the other person don't understand it the way yeah. you said it and sometimes there was some misunderstanding and stuff like that Okay. Uh, sometimes because of the jet lag, we couldn't talk that much. So mm -hmm. this kind of stuff is really annoying. Mm -hmm. But at least we win. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you you made it. Yeah. Made it. Um, yeah. let's see. What would you say to people with boyfriends or girlfriends who want to study abroad far away from their boyfriend and mm -hmm. girlfriend? Advice. Uh. What can I say? Like, I want them maybe to know that sometimes the distance can make you like think about oh, like how strong your feeling is. Maybe you said, oh my God, why I, I, I don't miss him this much now, like at the beginning. But this is no, no, it doesn't mean that you don't love the mm. person any anymore but mm -hmm. you have your leave and he has his life, life. yeah mm. life so yeah you like don't give up mm. <laughs> and try to to call and try to make i don't know some surprise if you have money to <laughs> like go to see him or if he can come to see you it's it's really cool because it's make a break Mm -hmm. But at least if you really want to go like study abroad, do it because you will regret it. Don't like think about your boyfriend. Of course, you have to think about it, but like it's your future. So yeah, yeah you just have to find a good balance. Mm. I don't know how to say it, but no, that's yeah. awesome. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Is it? Do you think it's easy to make friends in Japan? Ah, uh, well, <laughs> it, mm, it's not that easy. Uh, like we we had a really good team, but it was uh, most of them was like it's exchange student, mm. so foreigners. Um, I think. You have to try more than once and you will, like, you can have a really, really good Japanese friend, but maybe not, you have to, you know, try and uh, go to party with them. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe if you just, like, talk with them sometimes, it won't work. It's not as easy, I think, as, like with foreigners mm. or but the, also the situation is different and, and it depends on people of course because we had a really good friend mm. and he was really open-minded and really interesting to foreigners people and stuff like that so that was easy with him i also had chan she was kind of crazy but at least <laughs> she's a really really good friend now yeah but yeah you just like don't give up too mm -hmm. <laughs> you can have a really good friend but it mm -hmm. maybe take more time mm -hmm. I think. with japanese it takes more time yeah with japanese yeah probably right because westerners mm -hmm. we we come together so quickly uh, we, yeah. we get close, we can all speak kind of the same language, English. <laughs> and yeah. then there's Japanese who are kind of distant, and it's just mm. different culture, right? Yeah, right. And yeah. sometimes they are just afraid to speak English, or... The, it depends also on the situation, I guess. Mm -hmm. But as an exchange student, it was yeah not that difficult, but not that easy. Right, yeah. I agree. Um, a few more questions. Uh, what was your favorite food in Japan and what was your least favorite food? My favorite food, uh, maybe okonomiyaki. Okonomiyaki, <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I miss Japanese food so bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. What was the other question? What's your least favorite? Opposite. Ah, 
Oh, because I, I don't like fish. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I, I'm not fond of sushi. <laughs> I love, like, y you know, I love sushi, like, hamburger sushi. Ah. <laughs> Ham sushi. Mm. So, so, we went a lot to uh, the sushi shop, mm -hmm. but, you know, takoyaki, I know everyone loves it, but, there are taco inside, so I'm, I don't really like it. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm not a big fan of takoyaki either, actually. Um, one more question. What were the uh, Japanese classes like at the university? Were they hard? Were they mama, like, okay? What uh, they were really good, I think. Um, they were all in Japanese. But it depends on the university, apparently, but in Shimadai, it's all in Japanese. So the first week, you're like, oh, God, I don't understand anything. Yeah. But at least it's a, it's a good thing because you improve your Japanese really fast. Mm. And then you try, you understand and you're really proud of you. And at least it's not a difficult Japanese. Right. So it was really interesting. Well, some classes was like Mama, like I don't remember her name, Crazy Sensei San. Yeah, <laughs> Crazy Sensei. I I didn't really like her classes. I I didn't understand anything, and yeah. she talked so fast and yeah. look she, at you like she picked on me. <laughs> yeah. Why? She loves you, but yeah, so some classes are not that good, but most of them was really good. Mm. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Cool. Um, to end, can we look at a French website and... Yeah, I, I, I found one. Really? Send, yeah, me, send me the link. It's, it's top 10 of, mo uh, of some difficult French word for stranger. <sighs> First one. Let me read the title of the website or the article. So, okay. top du no d almost what is this top this de mot François les plus difficiles à prononcer pour les de mot quoi de mot François de ouais de mot de mot c'est ça que de mot what Demo. No, no, no. Say it again. You you say for French you said François. François. Français. Eh, français. 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 First word. Yeah. Mille feuilles. <laughs> Mille feuilles. What? Mille feuilles. Mille feuilles. Yeah. What does it Good. mean? Uh, you know, it's a really famous cake. It's Maybe a, you know it. It's a cake? It, you know, you can see it. Can you see? No? I can see it, but I don't know what that is. Uh, it's so famous. Really? Anyway. <laughs> well, you know, French people love their desserts, so... Okay, let's, let's, next one. Next one. Rouen. <laughs> Rouen. Rouen. It's, it's, yeah. it's that, like, in the back of your throat, R. R yeah. Rouen. Rouen. Wow. Not bad. Yay. Next. Next. <laughs> Bourgeois. Eh? Bouyoua? Bouyoua. Bouyoua. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, yeah, well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> That's not bad. Uh, okay, number four. Serrure. <laughs> Serrure. 
What? Serrurie. Wait a minute. Hold on. Back up. What does okay. bourgeois mean? Yo, it's a, I don't know how to say that in English. It's a stuff like you put that you put water inside and you it boil water. A kettle. Oh, oh, a kettle. And then what's so <laughs> you there? Uh, wait. What do you say? Is it a, a locksmith? A locksmith? <laughs> how, how do you say it in French? Serrurie. 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 I love your face. <laughs> Thank you. I should, I should show my... Actually, they can't see my face right now. Hold on. Now they can see my face a little bit. Number five is... I don't even know what... Vowel that is. <laughs> it's a heart. It's a what? It's the R. Heart. It's a heart? No. Yeah. You mean this word? Yeah. Oh, this word means heart. Yeah. It's pronounced. Kerr. <laughs> Kerr. Kerr. Care. 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 <laughs> you, you said care. It's not care, it's care. Care. You, you, you know? Where's the tongue? There's no tongue. No tongue. <laughs> care. What? Care. <laughs> care. Care. <laughs> you don't have to use your tongue. What? Just like, yeah. Yeah. It's easy. Okay. I'll believe you. The next yeah, yeah. word. The next word. Les gens. Les gens. Les gens. Les gens. Les gens. Yeah. Because G-N-E in French is je. 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 Les gens. Yeah. Mm, what's Good. it mean? People. Oh, people. Oh, like Spanish. Yeah. Gente. Mi gente. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Number seven. Ibo. Ibu. Ibu. I know there's a H, but you don't use it. It's useless. Same in Spanish. Why do you guys not use your H's? <laughs> Ibu. Ibu. French, yeah. Ibu. What is, what does it mean? It's old. Old? Yeah. yeah. Like, furui. No, no, no. Uh, that's a difficult word in English, you know, O-W-N. Oh. Old. Ah, uh, own. <laughs> own. 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 Gotcha. To, to own something. No! It's a bird! Ow, owl! Owl! <laughs> oh, oh! I'm sorry for my English. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's the bird that goes hoo hoo hoo. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> owl. Ibu. Ibu. Owl. 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 Yeah. Oh my gosh, this next word is groin? <laughs> it's, a, it's an ugly one. Groin. Groin. You know, it's the pink nose. Oh, snout? Okay. Yeah. Gua. Wait, what is it? Gua. Gua. Do you know what this word means in English? Gro groin? Groin? Gro uh, no. Groin. Someone's groin is their... Like... Down there. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's it's just the area. Ah! Just the area down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. My, like you could say my groin hurts. <laughs> or, okay, or, good or to someone know. <laughs> someone kicked me in the groin. Ah. ah. 
Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. I, I saw this and I was like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Number nine. Yep. Kokeliko. Oh, that's cute. But no. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Flower, a, a red flower. It's, Bara? It's not. N- not Bara. Oh. I don't. Uh, wait. Okay. Kokriko. Oh, I don't know what that is in English. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> Alright. How, uh, how do you say it? Kokriko. Oh, so. Kawaii. Kokriko. <laughs> Oh, yay. And number 10, the last one. Aujourd'hui. Yeah! Oh, really? Yeah! Aujourd'hui. Yes. Aujourd'hui. <laughs> what does it mean? Today. Today? Yeah. That's such a common word. Yeah. Aujourd'hui. Aujourd'hui. Uh, je... I will, how do you say, I will go to the Panya bakery. Ah, je vais aller à la boulangerie. That, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's way too long. <laughs> yeah, it's long. Oh my gosh. Okay, just, just try, just try to read the real last, um, last one, you know, un, like under the gif. Ah, I it's see like it. a mix of everything. Yeah, I see it. Aujourd'hui, un hibou a bouffé un coquelicot sur le groin d'un jeune dans la banlieue de Rouen. Almost perfect! <laughs> I, need to, I need to start learning French one day. I do. Thank you, Ava, um, Thank you. for the interview and the French lesson. Um, yeah. I will hopefully put this video on YouTube tomorrow, and then many people will watch it and love you. Okay, cool. <laughs> okay. I will watch it too. Yes, okay. please. Okay. Thank you. Bye. So that was the interview. Hope you guys liked it. I'm going to be doing more of these later on in my channel. I have plenty of friends and other people that I know around the world that I met in Japan or uh, through Japan in one way or another that I'm hoping to interview later and put on my channel. I try to ask these questions uh, that will be beneficial to most of my viewers, people who want to know things about Japan or studying abroad in Japan or just going to Japan in general. Otherwise, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Peace, guys.